Swedish Ministry of Defense has provided a lot of military support to Ukraine in defending its country from the Russian invasion. Recently, they also delivered CV-90 Tracked Armored Infantry Fighting Vehicles, or IFVs, and Archer 155mm Yield Self-Propelled Howitzers. And this is also the third time they have sent military aid to Ukraine, and is the most extensive military aid Sweden has donated to Ukraine. The number of CV-90 Tracked Armored IFVs delivered to Ukraine remains unknown, but Sweden says it will provide around 50 vehicles. The CV-90, or Combat Vehicle 90, is an armored vehicle first made for the Swedish Army by FMV Haglunds, or Bofors, now BAE Systems. The CV-90 is integrated with a 40mm Bofors, 30mm Bushmaster, or 35mm 50 Bushmaster automatic gun as the primary weapon. The remote-controlled gun station has a 7.62mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The 40mm Bofors is a modified anti-aircraft gun developed in the early 1950s. This can improve to be a very successful design. Even now, it can beat almost all armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. This 40mm gun is loaded with a magazine with a capacity of 24 bullets, which can be reloaded manually in 20 seconds. The CV-90 protected its 10-person crew from IEDs, anti-tank mines, and rocket-propelled grenades. Durability can be increased further by installing a Defensive Aid Suite, or DAS, and infrared and radar detection reduction systems. Powered by Scania V8 diesel engine, the CV-90 can drive 70 km an hour and has a range of 900 km. Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson said at a news conference as he described Ukraine's resistance to a full-scale Russian invasion as a fight for the freedom of all Europe. He said, quote, Ukraine's victory in this war is of almost indescribable importance. Kristersson added, that's one of the biggest reasons why so many countries are doing so much to help Ukraine right now. And then added, the moral support is important, but also our joint security. Ebba Bush, a Swedish energy and industry minister, said it's one of Sweden's best combat vehicles. The CV-90 was explicitly made for the sub-Arctic climate of the Nordic countries, where it can move quickly in snow and mud. CV-90 is widespread in Northern Europe. The Swedish Army has 500 CV-90s in several variants. Its standard version can carry up to 8 infantry and has a 40mm automatic cannon in an armored turret. Even though it is yet to be decided which version of the CV-90 will be sent to Ukraine, Sweden may send the CV-90-40C version. The vehicle has been changed for international use and since then, it has been used to train crews. According to the Swedish Armed Forces, this model has an increased level of armor protection, much higher than the base version. CV-90 is powered by a Scania DS-14 or DC-16 diesel engine that produces 1,000 horsepower or 745 kilowatts of power. Its maximum speed on a flat road surface reaches 70 kilometers an hour with an operating range of 320 kilometers. This vehicle is also specially designed to minimize radar and infrared detection. It also uses a heatsink filter to protect thermal imaging, image enhancers, and infrared cameras. Quiet movement is also a distinct advantage of the CV-90. The CV-90 is also in service by eight other countries, five of which are currently NATO members. Denmark, Estonia, Finland, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, and Slovakia. The CV-90 will be a modern, highly effective infantry fighting vehicle, just like the American M2 Bradley. 
While the CV-9040 lacks anti-tank missiles, like the TOW missile on the M2 Bradley, its Bofors gun is already a powerful weapon against Russian opposition tanks, especially from those earlier generations, not to mention Soviet-era IFVs. At the same time, the choice of 40mm ammunition means the same gun can engage various other targets, including more well-defended ones, including enemy personnel. When ready for battle, the CV-9040 weighs just over 25 tons and can hold up to 8 soldiers. There are 3 people running it, a commander, a driver, and a gunner. In Swedish service, however, the number of troops for a CV-9040 is usually cut down to 7 people with all their gear. At the same time, the heavier changes to the CV-9040C version make it able to carry 6 soldiers instead of 4. The CV-9040 ensures that it has a perfect level of mobility over snow and through marshes and swamps, which could significantly benefit Ukraine. It also is designed to operate in icy condition. Together with the Bradley, the CV-9040 goes several ways to meet Kyiv's long-standing demand for modern Western armor. On the other hand, both need to catch up to Western main battle tanks in armor, firepower, and overall mobility. These two infantry fighting vehicles are the most capable of their kind. Both are superior to the Cold War-era BMPs, which still comprise most of the Ukrainian fleet. Like the Bradley, the CV-9040 will be able to move troops more safely in high-risk areas, while simultaneously providing a significant level of anti-tank and anti-troop capacity. For Sweden, transferring high-end military equipment like this is very important. Sweden hasn't given Kyiv any heavier weapons yet, but sent Hellfire missiles to protect the coast. If the Ukrainian armed forces go through with a promised future offensive to free Crimea, modern IFVs like the CV-90 will play a big part, making it easier for troops to stay alive and move around. So the latest package is a big change in policy, especially since Sweden is currently the president of the European Union and Finland wants to join NATO.